Here comes the sun. And I say it's alright. 27 degrees this morning. A little frosty. We gotta unbuckle these boards and get ready to lay some foundation. Drive them at an angle, they go in better. What? Drive them at an angle, they'll go in better. Oh, yeah. It's working. those two by fours out on the concrete foundation they're the footing okay and we're gonna butt up the uh, forms for the concrete walls that we're putting up now for the crawl space uh, that'll help hold those bottoms in place and you guys will see how all this comes together so now we're gonna start unloading the forms off of the trailer and uh, you know we're also gonna have to do some drilling uh, get some stakes in the ground and stuff so just keep watching you're gonna see how this whole process unfolds the goal is to get all the forms up today and be ready for concrete when we leave okay Out. All right. All right. 
for you is called whalers and kickers. <laughs> that top bar there is a whaler and that's going to help hold the top of the forms in place while we're pouring that concrete in there. And then the kickers are we're going to put them out to the dirt and that's going to keep also the top from falling out. Okay? Whalers and kickers. Seven thirty, and the temperatures it was about 28 degrees outside so the ground was nice and frozen as the day has progressed it's about 11 o'clock right now you guys are seeing this video and the progression that you've seen up to this moment is a couple of hours three four hours so 20 minutes it's a whole day at work but when we started everything was frozen on the ground and now we're fighting the thaw as well so we're gonna start picking up some mud on our boots and it's gonna make the uh, work a little tougher so just things you got to think about when you're, you know, doing it yourself. Now we got to cut some filler boards. These are two inches wide and they're going to fill in some gaps that we're going to have along the walls uh, while we put these forms in. Because we went to the 10 inch wide concrete pour instead of eight. Right. Why did we go with a 10 inch? Make up for the, the logs. Big log, uh, oak logs, baby. So now we're taking the walls over and we're going to start building that back wall. We're waiting on some more supplies and they should be pulling up in a second. And it's getting slippery. This one, this one, right there's half. I need an but I got it. All right. Now we're putting in the rods on the back side of these forms, and that'll hold them from blowing out of the back. See. And Gary wore his fancy hat, so he's tuned in. He's the smallest guy, so he's in there. Right there. Let's get him about two inches. All right. See? Well, all these rods will hold, hold that all in. There we 
Where's the material truck? Material, material, girl. Delivery, delivery. One of the oldest family run businesses around. get up in the air they'll be digging into the dirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Down? Yeah, finally. Nope. Since 1873. I love it. Nice. Alright, what are you doing Gary? She engraved the height of our concrete floor. What's that mean? Will be the very top of the foundation. So you don't fill the concrete all the way up? Up to right here, so it'll be 44 inches tall. Now I'm going to shoot, run chalk lines to all my marks, and that way we know where we're going to put the concrete at. And also, we'll drive little bitty skinny nails about every 12 inches. So when we're trawling out the concrete, we know, know that it's, it's straight and parallel. All right, so what we got going on here? All right, we're re-snapping this line, Clyde. You got it right this time? Sir got, got that right. Gary had it on the wrong line and everything. Now I can see that one now. That, that's right. That's, that's good. Look at there. That's blue, huh? You can see that one. That's, a, that's the beginner man's uh, chalk line. No, he just got the, he marked the wrong line, this guy. Somebody hit an old, old mark that was on there. It's too much lines going around here. Why in that corner? So we're running the line. Once we run the line, we're putting a nail in. And that way when we're troweling the top of the uh, forms, Getting it flat, we'll know right where that top is, see? Some good old cement tricks. So what's on the menu? Oh, well, uh, like a little meal in a pack here. It's got burgers and carrots and potatoes and onions and homemade bread and some sauerkraut and some of my famous chocolate cranberry bars. Wow. Bar. All right then. Meal for kings. 
Right? I don't know about that, but we're hungry. All right, we're gonna dig into some luncheon. It's kind of cool, man. It's like uh, some good community stuff. You know, we all work together and eat together. And I love it. It's what's missing. Oh, nice. Mm. Look. Cookbook's on the way. Mm. It's definitely warm. Good on a cool day. We're probably in the 30s now. I think it's a little after one o'clock. And we almost have the whole, uh, you know, footing done. We just have to, we just marked it, like I showed you. And we chalked it and we got the nails all in so now we're going to put out the interior wall and then we'll be done ah. Was awesome, thanks, girls, ladies. <laughs> and now we're back at it. And Molly made her way down. So, what we're doing right now is we're gonna put some holes along this foundation, we're gonna put some rebar in there. Those are our verticals going up, and then that'll uh, let us tie off some rebar that are gonna go around the foundation. We're gonna put two la layers of rebar in. So, don't go anywhere, just keep watching. We're gonna get this whole thing put together pretty close, anyway. <laughs> Two rows of rebar in there now. 